Okay, guys, so Bob the Fish passed away, and we are here to pay our respects. I gotta throw something in there, I suppose. I guess I'll throw some seeds in there. Hopefully he'll, uh, he'll grow back, but yes, Bob the Fish. He was, he was a very, uh, he was a great fellow. But it's time. It's time, and, um, well, there he is. Okay guys, so now that that goofy stuff is behind us, welcome to episode 3 of Duconia's Rising. And as you can tell, there has been a lot of progress since our last update. There is a lot going on. And <laughs> you can hear over here, the music is still going. Yes, okay, I could hear over my voice. But um, as you can tell, everyone has been working hard in creating an immersive environment here in Queensdale. Um, everyone has just been doing a fantastic job and just all this crazy stuff. It's just really, really awesome looking. So um, I'm trying to figure out where I want to show you guys first. Well, I guess one thing we can show is the wall design that we have come up with over here. I was working on a wall design over the stream, uh, which is in, linked in the description below. So if you want to watch the stream where I designed this wall, I um, mean, go check that out. But I'm pretty sure this is the design that we're going to go for. We have the crenellations up there, a little miscellaneous um, depth details, and a little batter there at the bottom. But overall, it's a wall design that I'm pretty happy with, and I think will work well for the uh, circumference um, around Queensdale. Let's actually get up there really quick. So here we are on top of the wall, and as you can see, we're pretty high up here, have a pretty good bird's eye view over everything, and if we surround the whole town in this, man, we are going to be one rocking community here. Or one rockin' town, should I say. Um, no one's gonna want to mess with us. Um, Django has been over here. Uh, I thought he was gonna build a house, but he's gonna be making this mausoleum type thing. And it's about to rain. And the gods have decided that rain will not happen today. But um, with that being said, uh, he's making a mausoleum here. And I'm really excited to see what he does here. The roof is going to be a little bit funky. It's gonna be hard to try to come up with something to fit this space. But I know we can do it. And down here, of course, it's going to look pretty nice. So just looking forward to seeing how that ends up. Um, today's episode, we will be texturing this, but I won't be um, doing it as I did last episode. It will be more uh, just really quick. I just want to get this done. Uh, Recording-wise, if I do it all like in a format where I'm trying to explain it to you guys, it's going to end up being too long. So I just need to, bam, get it done. And we will. Uh, I'll show you the result and uh, explain to you what happened there. But... Um, I guess I should show you that way really quick. So you notice that castle up there? That is actually not uh, Deconian. That is uh, Butterman. He is not, uh, like I said, not Deconian. But he is on the server with us. And uh, he claimed his territory right above Queensdale. But um, anyways, over here is Red Ranger's house. His little mansion, by the way. That's where Bob the Fish is laid to rest right there, right along the road. Oh, man, that's kind of funny. But, yeah, this mansion by Red Ranger is absolutely incredible. Love how this is turning out. It's hard to really tell. Um, well, it's obviously, I mean, you can tell where it's going, but, I mean, it's just looking incredible. Love it to bits. But uh, there is a lot more on the other side of town, so let's go see that really quick. So coming up here along the road, you can really tell the atmosphere is coming along. I'm really looking forward to seeing that windmill up on top of that hill. We do have a new Duconian with us. His uh, place is right over here. 
Um, I'm trying to remember. Echo! Echo is his name. I was trying to remember his name. It was Echo. Um, but yeah, Echo is uh, making a little place over here. Um, looks like we got a nice little pond. Just overall, just really beautiful nature going on. And a nice little hobbit house, it would seem. And a greenhouse going on over here. So just really awesome to see all of this coming together just the atmosphere is just looking absolutely incredible there is one more thing to check out um and it's not duconian but uh it's a good friend of mine his name's saltfire uh good old raven friend or good old friend from raven but we're gonna go check that out really quick And yes, I know, there is a monstrosity over there. It is a mob farm built by King of Light, um, but he's trying to make it into a giant monolith. So um, as that progresses, hopefully it'll blend in a little bit better. But um, it blends in much better with his desert empire. But uh, you guys will have to go check out his channel to see what exactly is going on with that. But he mainly streams. He doesn't really do YouTube um, as much, but I'm sure you will see it on YouTube. But his link is in the description below, so go check that out. But again, this is Saltfire's Manor. Um, he has a nice little house up here. Got a windmill and just miscellaneous things. Just a lot of different places. And I really like how mazy it's feeling. It's so awesome to be able to explore through this and see just the incredible work that's gone into it. But um, like I said, Saltfire is not Duconian yet. <laughs> but uh, it would be great if one day, if he decides to join us one way or the other. But... Um, I think that he has a fantastic place out here, and I uh, really, really love how things are going. And there's the rain again! I gotta say, guys, the view from here, looking at Queensdale, oh my gosh, that is just beautiful. I can't wait to see more spires and towers coming out. Um, oh, that's some bones. But uh, it's just really awesome to see how this is going. I'm like, Ferriskin's, Ferriskin's place! Ferriskin! Um, oh, that's a great place for a castle right up there. Uh, if anyone's watching this video and you are here on the server with us, don't claim that hill up there. I think that might actually be a good place for the Duconian uh, castle when, whenever we get around to it. Um, the Duconians do need a castle. Actually, where Butterman's place was, we were going to build a castle there. But obviously, we are going to have to relocate. So we're going to have to find a nice little spot somewhere. And I think that plateau back there might work. But uh, yes, a castle incoming. That, by the way, is an observatory in the works. Um, Chiller Cookie, again, another new member of the du Duconians, is making that really colorful house there in the center of town. So, looking forward to showing you guys that. And uh, But yeah, I think what we're going to do right now is go ahead and get to texturing the house. And then we have a special event planned for this episode, so I look forward to seeing that. Um, I'm sure you guys are looking forward to seeing that. But uh, yeah, coming soon. Okay guys, so number one, I decided to make the porch all into brick. Number uh, one, because of the vaults had poked through, and two, so that it all matched up. So let's go check that out. So up here, you can tell that I changed it all to brick, and I think it's gonna turn out great. Number one, because the color automatically makes you feel it's kind of a richer type place, which is what I'm trying to go for. And then number two, it also is just, uh, it helps um, because of the texture uh, already works with where it had poked through from the vaults below so overall i think it's a good choice but now we got to go ahead and change all of this texture up and we'll see what we can do with that Alrighty, well you guys are gonna hate me but i have been totally in the building groove and so i have really lost track of recording while i've been building uh what i've been doing here so as you can see i've added in a spruce border around the stable i've worked on the pallet there on the front I still needed to add in windows. I'm still trying to decide what I want to do there. And unfortunately, this glare is killing us. So just give me one second here. Okay, so now we're using Conquest of the Sun. So it's a little bit better. But um, as you can see, I'm trying to work on the front of the house. It's more of a facade right now. Right now, obviously, there's just a lot of mute colors in there. And it's not really contrasting as well. I feel like those hoppers may not be working for us. But uh, I'm going to keep them there for now until I decide otherwise. Also, a lot of greenery in here, and the miscellaneous details is what's going to really make this come out and uh, show and you know make it shine. So we just got to wait for that to happen. Um, I've worked on the entrance on the way up. I've changed this to brick, and if you look up at the window here, I've been working on this a little bit. 
try to get a good viewpoint of that. But uh, as you can see, I've used stair blocks there to make it sort of like an arch, and I've used those walls in the middle, and I've made it into a double window. So it's technically, yeah, it's, it's a double window, and then I might use either glass blocks or panes back here. I think I might use blocks, and then I'll just cover it up with uh, some kind of plaster behind. I'm not sure how it's gonna work, but it's gonna look good hopefully by the time we're done with it interior will be for another episode um, but like I said I've been in a groove and I've seemed to build a lot more smooth when I'm not pressured to figure out a system to make it uh, to make it in a video um, building in my own seems to be a lot quicker but uh, I'll try to keep you guys updated as to what's going on but uh, right now we're just working on the front of the house and um, from there hopefully we'll get a lot more done oh by the way I haven't even showed you my storeroom uh, down under here, if you go inside, I've added in, I've made the storeroom a lot more atmospheric. Um, this is looking terrible. Once there we go. It's a little bit more mild now. So I've really been trying to uh, make this storage room look a little bit better than it just being bam, like, you know, just chests everywhere. I try to make it look a little more organized. And as you can see, I got a lot of resources all over the place. Um, these are all mine. I bought, yeah, whoops, I collected them all. Uh, myself, uh, nothing is anybody else's. That is uh, one thing, and I have a few enchanted items. I have a uh, bow with infinity. This is not enchanted, but it's my shield. Um, special weapon there, and special weapon there. So I got a few neat weapons in here, some dies, and if we head back here, there's a few special things, and just kind of lots of neat stuff around. And, um, but yeah, so that's my storage room. Just thought I'd let you guys see that really quick right under there and uh, it keeps it sort of hidden and um, not hidden but protected um, and I think it makes sense it's like a little cellar underneath the house here so um, I really like it but um, what we're going to continue doing is texturing this house and see what else we can uh, come up with alrighty guys well there has been some progress again I have been so inspired to be building but uh, again it's hard for me to figure out an episode format for this but what I'm trying to portray here is that this bit here is an addition and I've also done a little bit of uh, retexturing to the foundation as you can see I've done a kind of a checkered pattern with the polished andesite and rough andesite and it creates this neat little kind of uh, masonry texture that I find to be actually quite um, fitting for the style. Over here you'll see that I have a bay window, it's hard to see with the shader, um, and then I have that little bit of ornamentation there above. Now I am not done with that, there is still more to do, uh, it's going to be mainly detail work, uh, the greenery and everything is going to really make this uh, stand out um, for sure. Um, I was thinking of something that I could put on there and um, Anyways, we'll get to that later. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we also added a dock here. I felt that it would be a, just a really neat thing. Um, in case I ever decide to go fishing, I could just walk out to my little uh, dock here and throw a pole in um, and try to catch some fish. Because this is a really nice river through here. And uh, so far, everyone's been using the bridge. But this is my private fishing spot. So um, that's that. Now, if we head over here, you'll see that, uh, well, we've already seen all that. We've just seen this. Okay, yeah, um, by the way, the shed here, this is kind of like a little storage shed. I think I'll put, like, hay in here, maybe a few miscellaneous items. I'm not sure if I'll even put any storage chests in here, but I got to figure out what exactly this is going to be used for. But uh, for right now, we're just going to just put some torches in here, and uh, hopefully the mobs don't spawn. But um, yeah, I've still been working on that, and it's just this little diagonal shed here, and I think it works well um, with the whole kind of uh, how this building is aligned. Uh, the diagonal uh, nature of it just really works. I uh, haven't really done any work in there, not any in there, and then I've done the uh, front door. I'm not so happy with this. I'm not super happy with how this has turned out so far. I think I may decide to do some uh, retexturing, but um, I do like how this is all yellow right there. Um, I do want to possibly add some more of that yellow concrete, I'm sorry, yellow terracotta throughout this house. So I was thinking maybe like through here, I don't know. Well, no, that wouldn't work out. Um, I just feel that uh, since, since the Duconian's colors, as you can see, are yellow, green, brown, and red, 
Um, I already have the brown, I have the red, I have a little bit of yellow, and now of course the greenery is going to be the green. So what I'm planning on doing is possibly adding in some more of that yellow to make it more apparent that uh, the Duconian colors are through here. I've been trying to make the prominent color red, so that is the reason why I have been, uh, you know, all this red, like the red shutters, red, 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 red everywhere. Um, also Ducon red and all that, you know. <laughs> um, but still, um, I've been really, oh wow, I have not noticed that. Man, Thomas has been at work. That is the treasury over there. That is so awesome. Oh, it's so cool. Um, but yeah, there's vaults in there and things, so that's where uh, all of our treasure is going to go eventually. But uh, yeah, definitely coming along. And so now what we got to do is finish the backside. And you can certainly tell there is a lot to do on the backside for sure. Um, I'm planning on doing something a little bit special with this tower. I'm not quite certain how I'm going to, uh, you know, get this all sorted out. But uh, whatever we do, I hope that it works and that it looks great. But for right now, it's still kind of in its rough stage, of course. And um, so it's going to just take some time for me to develop um, the idea and make it all a um, feasible design. So all in good time, guys. And uh, so, yeah, hopefully by the end of this episode, we'll be done with this. Alrighty guys, so after a good long while, we are uh, finally almost done the texturing of the house. And I think that's going to, uh, what I've done so far is going to um, uh, finish off this episode. Now, I said there was something special coming up in this episode. We did a major end raid, and that is coming up in episode 4, which will be pretty soon uh, after release of this episode. So uh, be looking forward to that, and uh, Thomas is showing off his uh, elytra skills as he's flying around our town, um, but man, that is freaking awesome. We got uh, lots of great loot, and um, yeah, the Duconians, man, that was just an uh, incredible time. But uh, like I said, episode four, that will be um, some pretty cool stuff. It's going to be less building focused and more... Um, more just fun kind of things but uh anyways as you can see we have been working on or should i should say today, i have been working on um texturing and uh finishing up this side of the house also the other side is kind of finished too but there is still more that i want to do i'm still not fully happy with the overall contrast uh palette there is inconsistency still um over here i'm still not finished i might put a roof over that uh, maybe some greenery, I don't know, and you will notice that I put this massive tree there. Um, the tree is the symbol of the Duconians. Having a pine tree there on the porch, I think, works not only as a uh, contrasting uh, feature, but also as a symbol of the Duconians. So you'll notice that I have, um, in very few places, I have yellow, um, I have the brown for the foundation, white, for the uh, the stone, and then I have green um, for the tree. So basically, I have all the colors of the Duconians. Also, of course, the red. Um, I do need to put in some Duconian banners, so we might get to that. But maybe you guys have some suggest suggestions as to how I can continue um, contrasting this and make it look a little bit better. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave those in the comments below and uh, let me know what you think. But uh, let's go ahead and make our way to the other side and see what's over there. So over here, I have done some uh, updates. You'll see that I changed all of the sort of quote unquote courtyard area into uh, brick and with a little bit of that, uh, of that uh, dirt there. And then I've changed the stable uh, doors to the red acacia. And I put some plants in here to try to make it seem a little bit better. I might put some kind of archway over there. Something like I put over here. Just like a little bit of a, uh, I forget what that's even called. A trellis, I think it's what it's called. With the vines and everything. So I might try to do that over there. And then what we did is we created an arbor over the uh, little dock here or... Uh, the pier, whatever you want to call it, uh, the thing over the water. Uh, I still need to make this grow from somewhere, so I probably might put a couple pots on both sides and then the leaves go down to that. But I uh, just thought it would be nice to have a little uh, beautification spot here and it'd be a great spot to fish if anyone uh, wanted to do that. Um, and I 
think that's oh yeah one other thing is i changed all that italian stone you'll notice that uh, before i had this kind of mess of texturing there and then i had the italian stone up there on the dormers but i decided to go with all diorite because all of that color i mean all of those textures just really messed up the uh the view uh or the um it, it made the whole thing unbalanced in my opinion so making it a solid texture helps in the regard that it uh it sort of mutes that uh, messiness and makes it a little bit more um a little bit more solid so that's what i like about that uh coming up here i think you guys have already seen all this then the door and everything and then if we come up on the roof a little bit um i add i add buttons and also those little finials there um every so often to give it sort of a gothic look in a way and then uh if we come up this away there is a few other things I want to know, just one other thing I really want to show you guys. Um, you'll see that I changed the chimneys over to a mixture of brick and the polished andesite. I also did the same thing over here. Um, so that really helps out. And another big thing is how I did um, the sort of roof detailing up here with the uh, little bits coming out. And then we use the iron fences surrounding as a detail block. Now coming down here to the porches, we got a little bush up here, some flower pots, um, some acacia leaves, which actually have this biome variant in the desert biome, so that really works out. Lots of vines and things over here. I'm Of course, I'm still not done with this, and I know this tree still looks kind of derpy. It's really hard to make trees anymore um, with these leaves. It's so hard to see what, what is what because of the 3D model. So that really makes that kind of annoying, but uh, I still need to try to polish that a little bit more. But um, I think that's about it, guys. Uh, <laughs> dude, this place is really coming along, so it's just so incredible to see um, how amazing it is. In fact, let's go back up to Sausage's Tower to uh, end this episode. I'm telling you, Sausage could not have chosen a better spot to put his tower. This is a great view over Queensdale, and it is only going to get better as uh, the town continues to develop and details continue to uh, to sprout. Also, when that wall is finished, I'm looking forward to uh, us getting this full um, wall design completely all the way around. In fact, we might go ahead and stream that this coming week or something. We'll see what happens. But uh, one way or another... Hmm, that doesn't look finished. I think he changed that design. Anyways, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, there is a quick update about uh, applications. We are no longer accepting any applications. Um, it'll only, like, if, if anyone else comes to join, it'll only because uh, we asked them to, not because anybody asked to join, uh, really. But, um, yeah, or not asked, but anyways, it's, it's no more applications. The applications are over. It's getting a little hectic over here, so I don't want to, uh, or we don't want to uh, cause this environment to become a um, too too complicated of an atmosphere. It creates a more stressful environment, which we are trying to avoid. So I hope you guys understand that. And um, yeah, so uh, thank you for watching. You all have a great day or night, wherever you're from. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Till then. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs>